everyone, good morning again. Today we're gonna do another quick morning routine and this time we're gonna focus on helping ourselves calm down before work or reduce any anxiety that we may have. Maybe we woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Maybe somebody said something yesterday that stuck with you. And today we're just gonna focus on letting that go. So let's just take a quick little seat. We won't be here for too long. Again, you can take whichever um, cross-legged, on your knees, on a block, sitting on a pillow or bolster. We'll be here for just a few breaths while we connect. So let's begin by closing our eyes, breathing in deeply, feeling your chest, feeling your belly, and exhaling deeply and slowly. Breathing in through your nose, inhale, holding, and slowly breathing out through your nose in a controlled way. One more deep breath, just like that. Inhale through your nose. Hold it at the top. exhale through your nose as well. Now continue to breathe through your nose, staying internal for just a moment. Think about what it is you want to feel by the end of the next 10 or 15 minutes. How do you want to feel when you get back up to go to work or to tend to the kids? or to do your tasks, whatever it is you have to do after this. Setting your intention for your practice. Taking one deep breath, raising your arms above your head. And exhale, bring your hands to heart center in prayer hands or Anjali Mudra. Bowing your head to your hands to acknowledge that you've set your intention for today. Slowly open your eyes, looking at your hands. Inhale, reach up and look up. And exhale, bring those circles, sweep the hands down to your sides. If, you, if you're sitting on something, remove that from underneath you. We're gonna take child's pose here. So for child's pose, we have a couple options. If you need to keep the block you can or a bolster, you can sit on that if your knees um, need that support. You can have a closed knee child's pose with your hands behind you. This is actually embryo pose. Traditional child's pose, knees are spread apart, toes are touching in the back, and you walk your hands forward, letting your head rest on the ground, on your mat, on your floor, whatever, whatever the surface is that you're on. Okay, I'm gonna move back just a little bit so you can see my hands. So my hands are active here, palms, are making contact with the ground, fingertips are spread wide, the elbows are lifted. I like a more active child's pose, especially since I am gonna be working after this. So lifting the elbows is more active here. What you want to avoid is crunching into this. So you wanna let your heart sink as much as possible. Maybe try placing your elbows down for a moment and seeing if you can relax between the shoulders, pull those shoulders away from the ears, and from there, then press. We're gonna take a few breaths here, making sure that you allow yourself, so we're not here for, for looks at all, allow your belly to just really drop and expand when you inhale, making a little pot belly, pre feeling how the belly presses against the thighs with your inhale, and as you exhale, all your air out, sucking that belly button in towards the back. Two more breaths here. Inhale, breathe deeply through your nose. 
Exhale, push everything out, still through your nose. One more inhale, just like that. Inhale through your nose. And exhale, let it all out. From here, you're gonna pull yourself forward onto your belly. We're gonna move to locust pose. So, for here, we'll do it in a few parts. So first, you can place your forehead on the ground, palms face down by your sides. The tops of your feet are making contact with the ground behind you, so we're, our toes aren't tucked here. So flat feet, flat hands, head is facing down. We're gonna do this in three parts. On your inhale, lift your chest up using just your back muscles. And exhale, hold it here, making sure that your shoulders are away from your ears. Inhale, lift your hands to join. And exhale, hold it. Inhale, lift your feet. And exhale, hold. On your next inhale, see if you can lift everything up. Exhale, hold it here. One more inhale and exhale, come back to the ground. You can place your hands like a little pillow underneath your head, forehead facing down, lift your feet up and windshield wiper your legs. This helps to relieve any low back pain. We're gonna do another locust just like that in three parts with a couple breaths to come into our full expression. When you're ready, place your feet back down, palms to your side, face down towards the ground, forehead touching the ground. Inhale, lifts your head and shoulders up, chest is beaming forward. Exhale, hold. Inhale, lift your hands up. Exhale, hold. Inhale to lift your feet to join. And exhale, hold. See if you can avoid the rocking motion when we breathe in and out. So really use your back to engage all your muscles. Inhale, full expression here. Exhale, hold. Inhale, lift. And exhale, come back down. Slowly make that little pillow for your head again. And windshield wiper your feet side to side. Maybe you want to hang out on one side a little longer than the other. From here, we're going to place our hands by our chest, push up, come into a flat back here while we set ourselves up for downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and pressing back. This is your first downward dog of the day. Make sure that your palms are still making full contact with the ground, your fingertips are spread apart, middle fingers are pointing straight forward. Your shoulders have an external rotation, so your biceps, the goal here is to make the inside of the elbows point forward, pressing your chest and belly back. Your gaze is between your toes, and it's okay if you have bent legs here. Taking a moment to full, deeply bend one leg, then shift to the other. This is called walking the dog. Feeling that deep hamstring stretch. Both heels back to press into full expression of downward facing dog. Your tummy is tucked in and up. That's engaging your Uddiyana Bandha. Lifting your heels, breathe in, and press back, breathe out. Lift again, breathe in, and press, breathe out. One more lift. Breathe in, and breathe out. Lifting your right foot back on your inhale, your exhale, look between your hands and place that foot between your hands. You may need to assist yourself in this. Our inhale is going to bring us up to standing. Your back foot is gonna be at a 45 degree angle. We're setting up for warrior one. Your hips are straight forward, so you can take little guns and just make sure on either side of your hips, make sure your hips are facing forward and lifting your hands here. So warrior one, your front foot is pointing at the 12 o'clock direction. 
and your left foot is pointing out towards the between the 10 and the 11 so it's a 45 degree angle lifting up through your chest with your inhale hips are squared and hold it as you breathe out you may want to reach farther back and curve up a little bit inhale come back to straight forward your next inhale you're going to open up to warrior two so now you flip the back foot at a 90 degree angle you may need to take a deeper stance so you can scoot your foot out your front knee is directly over your ankle your sh your hips and shoulders are as squared as possible to the front and your back foot is at a 90 degree angle so if you're on a mat like me the back foot is aligned with the short end of the mat and the front foot is aligned with the long end of the mat your gaze or your drishti is over your right hands palms face down shoulders are away from the uh, from the ears chest is lifted this is warrior two holding it for the next breath on your next inhale flip that front hand lean forward without changing your stance and then come back to stretch the other side of your body placing your left hand behind you for support you can also wrap your hand around you holding on to the other thigh your right thigh with your left hand just a short little two breath here Inhale, straighten that front leg, cartwheel your hands back, reach forward, and tilt over on your axis here. So our goal is to have our hands making one straight line. You can place a block, a stack of books, or anything you need. It doesn't matter if you go all the way down or you're up here. The goal is to have your shoulders and hands in one straight line from top to bottom using your block as needed but our goal isn't to put any weight on that and your hands are looking up so this is extended side angle pose extended triangle sorry <laughs> holding it here one more deep breath in and come back to warrior two cartwheel your hands to the floor in a runner's lunge we'll be here for just two breaths if you need to bring your knee down you can you can pop up the goal here is just to stretch any part of your um, hip flexors that you need for a couple breaths on your third breath step that foot back into high plank we're not going to go through chaturanga we're going to go straight into downward dog again from downward dog come back to tabletop touch your toes together bring your knees apart and come back to child's pose Again, allowing your belly to, big, to expand, be big, be heavy with your inhale. Everybody's belly hangs a little bit in this pose. Can you remember what your intention was for today? We're about halfway through. We're going to repeat this on the other side now. On your next inhale, pull yourself back up to tabletop, tuck your toes, press back to downward facing dog. Moving a little bit faster because this is the other side. Same exact motions. We're gonna walk our dog a little bit. If you can remember how it felt the first time you were doing this, maybe it feels different now. That's the work that you've already put into your body. On your inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, press the heels down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press the heels down. Inhale to lift. And exhale, press down. Lift your left leg on your inhale. Look at your hands and step through 
to warrior one. Your left foot again is at straight ahead. Your right foot is at a 45 degree angle. Hips are square to the front. Knee is over the ankle. And if your foot tends to lift in the back, take a shorter stance. Again, we're not looking for how deep can you go. It's how does your body need you to move today. We're in warrior one on the left leg forward. Breathing in. Again, if you'd like to, you can look up, maybe arch your back on your inhale. And exhale, come back to center. Your next inhale, cartwheel your hands open and step your foot into a warrior two position. Back foot pivots to a 90 degree angle from your front foot. Our hips, the intention is to have squared hips with your chest to the side wall. Your hands are palms face down in a T. Your drishti or your gaze is over your front hand and your knee is directly over your ankle. Breathing here for two. And one. Your next inhale, flip that front palm, lean forward without changing the legs, and lean back to extended or exalted warrior without moving the legs. Again, your right hand can be on your right thigh or wrapped around to your left thigh. Breathing in here deeply, stretching that left side body. From here, cartwheel your hands back to a T, straighten that front leg, lean forward, pressing that left, that right hip back, and then tilt to make a straight line with your hands from top to bottom. What we want to avoid is crunching down and moving that hip. So making sure that you keep your hips squared here as much as possible, and we're just tilting down to make a straight line through our shoulders keeping this left side lifted off the leg and out of your hips. Breathing in and out. On your next inhale, swing your arms back up into warrior two. We're actually going to shift our feet so that they're parallel to each other changing it from the other side, I'll face you. So now our feet are parallel, maybe turn slightly in. We're gonna do that uh, swan dive down to one-legged forward fold. I always like to incorporate inversions of some sort because they help to boost the immune system, enhance your mood, they help to reduce depression, and they're just a great stretch. In this case, it's a great stretch. Other inversions work on your core stability and your strength and your focus. You can have your hands on the ground. Maybe you wanna be more passive. You can put your forehead on a block here or on a pillow or on books. Just be here. Play around with the depth of your forward fold. Maybe bring your hands a little farther forward and see what it feels like to put more weight on the toes, on the heels. Really get to know your body here. This is really great for releasing the low back as well. On your next inhale, bend your knees a little bit and just begin to unroll one vertebrae at a time. Turning that front foot, I'm gonna switch feet because my left foot should be in front. And we're going to do a runner's lunge here, just come back down. Again, if you want to put your knee down, you can, and just pop up. We wanna get that right hip flexor stretched, or you can keep it up, making sure that your heel is directly above the toe if you have your heel up and your back leg is as straight as possible. Two more breaths here. Palms down, step into plank. This time we're just gonna hold it for a quick second. If you want to, you can do plank with your knees down as well. 
keeping your shoulders away from your ears. If your belly button's engaged, your gluteus is also engaged. And then slowly bring your knees down, everybody. Slowly come all the way down to the ground. And just turn a cheek, place your hands down, and take two breaths here. Allowing yourself to surrender to the ground. Flipping the cheek to the other side, taking two more breaths. Place your hands by your chest, press back to tabletop, and scoot your feet forward, walking your knees forward. We're going to come to a seated position here. You can go straight into Shavasana right now, or if you'd like, you can come up to a boat pose and hold it for just a few breaths. Your boat can be knees bent, knees straight, hands behind you for support. You can hold underneath your, uh, behind your, your knees. <laughs> and then slowly make your way down. You might shake, that's okay as slowly as possible. Come all the way down. Lifting your feet up for a moment. This is waterfall. Bring your hands up, also known as dead bug. This helps to redirect any lymphatic fluids to the lymph nodes so that your body can process it. This is also good to do before bed if you have a problem sleeping. And just relax here, breathing. You might feel tingling. That's the blood working its way through your body, acknowledging the work that you've done. Your next inhale, bring your knees to your chest. Maybe tuck your chin in. Get into a tiny little ball. Breathe in, squeeze really tight. And exhale, come to Shavasana or Corpse Pose. It's important that we don't skip this, especially when we're working to reduce any anxiety and bring calmness to our bodies. This is a time for our body to restore, rejuvenate, revive, and be ready to be born again. And as you lay here and you take your normal breaths, just imagine that with each exhale, you're letting go of anything that doesn't serve your body. In this very moment, you are safe here, you are grounded, you are loved. You are important. You are strong. You are confident. Say those to yourself in I statements. I am safe. I am strong. I am confident. I am supported. I am loved. Stay with your breath. As we begin to come out of this, keeping our eyes closed to stay internal, slowly wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bring your knees up and turning on to whichever side feels good to you, using your bicep as a pillow. Placing your free hand on your heart. 
With your inhale, pressing your chest against that hand, acknowledging the love in you, the peace in you, the calmness in you, and the work that you've done to find it today. With that same hand, pressing onto the ground, acknowledging the earth, Mother Earth, who has been supporting you through this whole journey of your life and who will always be there to support you every step of the way. Pressing up into a comfortable seat, staying internal. You can come cross-legged or sit on your knees on a block, keeping your eyes closed. Breathe in deeply through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. One more like that, inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, circle, sweep your arms up. Bring your hands, palms to touch, to heart center, bowing your head to your hands. Again, acknowledging the work that you've done, the people that have done this with you virtually or in your home. Having gratitude for all that you have done today. The light in me honors, respects, and loves the light in you. Namaste. Slowly open your eyes. Thank you guys for joining. This time there are actually more people here at the end. I appreciate you all for being here. I am going to take a moment to just look at and make sure there weren't any comments that I missed. But I appreciate all of you for joining me today. Um, it was very important for me to also offer a little bit of anxiety relief and calmness to people um, as we are transitioning through another phase of what we're um, all living together. So thank you all so much for being here. I'm open to any comments or questions that you might have or let me know how these are feeling for you if they're too short, too long and what you would like to focus on in the future, and I'll do my best to bring that to you. Thank you all so much. Have a beautiful day.